So I know I talk a lot about building a personal brand, but would you be interested in learning how to instantly destroy your personal brand? Okay, let's go. In this video, I'll be sharing some thoughts after seeing another business owner in, uh, in my community essentially destroy their personal brand and business. So recently, I've witnessed, experienced, seeing a business owner make some poor decisions that have essentially destroyed their business, their personal brand, any kind of brand equity that they might have by making some bad decisions. And unfortunately, when your business is built on community and community support is so essential to the growth and the um, health of your business, one big mistake or intentional act can ruin everything. And unfortunately for this business owner, it seems that they don't want to take accountability for the choices that they made. And, you know, that's a choice, but I think it's to the detriment of the business. And when the business is your livelihood and you've essentially alienated uh, your customers, it's not a good situation. So do I think this business will continue? I think that this business will continue to survive but I think that its era of thriving, which it was in, it was doing super well. Um, it had like the most, it, w it was the highest performing business of its kind um, in the area. So it was doing really, really well. And then the business owner decided to make some terrible decisions. So here's how to ruin your personal brand, your business brand in 2.5 seconds. Lie, cheat, and steal, full stop. And I know, I mean, I know that people, I know that people lie, cheat, and steal all the time. But here's the thing, is that when <laughs> your uh, poor decisions, when your when you decide to do things that are below board is that the opposite of above board people are going to find out and when your business is built on community when um your business thrives when the community talks about it raves about it loves it the opposite is also true when you essentially destroy your business by making poor decisions it ruins your reputation in the business world, in the business space. Nobody's going to trust you anymore. Nobody's going to believe what you say. It's, it's just all the opposite things of like no trust. Instead, it's like, I hate you. I don't know you. And I definitely don't trust you. And that sounds harsh, but that's also true. And uh, if you're growing your business through your community... Bad things, you know how it is with like bad news. Bad news always travels way faster than good news. Way faster. Like uh, if you ever thought about like having, when you get positive comments, you know, whether it's on YouTube or wherever, versus getting a negative comment, that one negative comment can feel so much heavier than 20 positive comments. Then 200 positive comments. That one negative comment uh, can ruin your day, right? Well, in the same way, uh, when you ru essentially ruin your reputation by making poor business decisions that affect the lives of other people, your employees, etc., people are going to find out. And here's the thing, is that people make mistakes all the time. But the problem is, is when you make a mistake and then you brush it off. 
Because there's one thing when you make a mistake and take accountability, apologize, try to fix it, try to make it better. But it's another thing when you make a poor decision and act like it never happened. Uh, And you try to gaslight other people into believing that, oh, it's not a big deal or I didn't do that. But here's the thing is that making a mistake is it's a thing. It's real, right? But when you see a pattern of the thing that's being done that that is wrong, that's not a that's that's not a mistake anymore. That's intentional. And that's the problem. So, if you're building a personal brand and you're building your business alongside your personal brand and you want your clients and customers to trust you, to know you, to like you, to trust you, you have to be honest. You have to, I mean, I'm not talking to those who are trying to do some shady business dealings. I'm talking to the people who, you know, want to build a legit business, whether that's in photography, the creative space, wherever. It doesn't really matter. Any kind of business. You want your business to thrive. You need to be, um, you need that no like trust factor, the trust needs to be there most especially when there's an exchange of money like oh i'm paying you money and then you hear about some dishonest business dealings and you're like oh crap like how can i support how can i continue to support this business with my money knowing what they have done so it's gonna be interesting um my personal feelings of this business is that are they going to make it i think so i think they may continue to survive as a business but the business as it once was is no longer when you destroy the trust between you and your customers it's really hard to come back from that you know, you know how it happens, like, uh, especially like other companies, like, you know, they get rid of the CEO, they get rid of like the, the manager, they get rid of the, the bad seed, right? So I think that for this business, what might be in their best interest is possibly to like sell the business and then start over. They can start over the same business in another, another place. Cause obviously they have like the, tools and the means to build up their business because they are they did it once but unfortunately for this local business it's going to be really hard to have the same level of trust knowing um that same business owner who lied cheated and stole essentially is still there and sure there's going to be a whole like I think that if they stay in their business, it's going to take a whole cycle of people, of customers, of clients to come through the business who don't know the backstory. But for those that's, that know the tea, it's going to be, it's interesting to say the least. If you're building a personal brand keep things above board i mean it's it's not hard (laughs) be honest don't steal (laughs) um you know like it almost seems like too obvious as a thing to say but it's important for your own personal brand equity for your business brand equity for what people say about you your brand reputation no like trust factor it really really does matter So if you're building a personal brand, what is something that you would never do? I mean, I, this is the first time I've ever witnessed this up close. So I found it really interesting, almost like a case study to see how it all shakes out. So far, uh, from what I've witnessed from this business, they've essentially cut their business in half based on their actions. So we shall see will they survive i don't know um so yeah that that's why branding branding matters <laughs> branding super important and for what is branding what is a brand it's what people say about you and your business when you're not in the room and even for this business owner well right now when they're not in the room is not looking so good
It's just not. So keep that in mind. When you're building your brand, what are people saying about you when you're not in the room? You want it to be good things, right? You want it to be good things. So I hope this was helpful. Stay tuned for the next video. See you next time.